Welcome viewers to Historical Journeys. It's mid-2019 and archaeologists are digging 30 feet underground at the Tunnel Jebel Necropolis in Minya, Egypt, and the group's undertakings eventually prove to be fruitful when they reveal a progression of burial places concealed somewhere down in the ground. However, there's a further shock coming up. After the archaeologists open the loads, they find a shocking cemetery for 50 mummies, making their find an exceptionally extraordinary one to be sure. Archaeologists in Egypt unearth a burial chamber with 50 centuries-old mummies concealed somewhere inside. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It only takes a second, and you won't miss any of our future videos. Let's get started. One thousands of years prior Egypt was not a brought-together country with a limit, a rather cutting the area into two separate parts Lower and Upper Egypt, also right close to that division line. Her model is which was once a significant city and common capitals excessively tall. However, despite the fact that her model is stayed after the Romans vanquished Egypt, the Muslim victory in the 7th century promotion prompted its ruin. In any case, in its prime, her mandalus was second just to criminals in its extravagance, which makes sense of maybe why archaeologists have since uncovered such a great amount from this old metropolitan region. The area is outstanding too for ones facilitating an incredible necropolis where Egyptians covered their dead and regarded the departed with landmarks and burial chambers. However, the inhabitants of Old or Mandalus had an intriguing approach to moving bodies from the city to the tomb of El Jebel gravesite. As opposed to conveying cadavers overland, you see the living drifted the dead down the Nile, all things considered. What's more, on account of this cycle, a few bodies tracked down timeless rest inside the Bini Hassan grottos. However, while the inhabitants of Hermonopolis treated the dead with care, the actual city didn't get comparable thought after the Muslim intrusion. Albeit a large part of the area cause got away from harm from the many conflicts that seethed all through early Egyptian history, her corners later Muslim rulers decided to separate a large number of its structures to reuse the materials or recovered line from the stones. However, leftovers of her monopolist stay even today. As of now, some of the city's segments and sculptures stand in an outside gallery close to El Ashley name. All the more as of late. In any case, archaeologists have zeroed in their endeavors on Fischl Jibble, which is found to have held an abundance of relics and data about existence and passing and her monopolists. Then, at that point, as a matter of fact, Backhoes just began truly sifting through Fish El Jebel toward the beginning of the 20th 100 years. The Institut Francais de Cielo de Oriental drove the main exploratory meeting, which spread over from 1902 to 1903. The Deutsch Situate Yourself then continued in 1913, and the group on that dig apparently hit the big time by tracking down a few instances of Roman burial chambers. Furthermore, the 1913 uncovering uncovered a huge number of burial place houses with painted plans and stylistic layout, something like one of which spread north of four stories. After six years, be that as it may, came a much more significant find. On that event, archaeologists at the site found the burial chamber of Fadah Siris, who had been an esteemed minister of Thoth, an old Egyptian divinity who controlled the universe and tackle questions among the divine beings. Then, at that point, subsequent to revealing the burial place of Metasurface in 1919, specialists went through the following two years uncovering the area after which they additionally modified the privileged design. They found to that the structure's external court had an exceptionally particular Greek style, possibly to support Alexander the Incomparable, who was Egypt's Grecian ruler at the hour of development. Yet again, after that backhoes, a fish El Jebel moved center with noted Egyptologist Alexander Badboy, supervising the uncovering of the Sanctuary of Thoth, and the spot of love was found to contain a Sukya wheel that attempted to lift water after it was gotten rolling by a strong creature like a bull or a jackass. Scientists from Munich College and Trier College later made a beeline for the district to albeit the group adhered toward the north and south sides of the necropolis separately 
However, neither one of the gatherings have since distributed the consequences of their work, which occurred during the 1970s, and remembered trips underground to read up the displays for the burial chamber of Fada Siris. In any case, maybe quite possibly of the most fascinating find today, to fish El Jebel is the burial place and sanctuary of Isadora, the young lady covered there had resided in her monopolists during Roman head Anton in his Pius's rule of Egypt, which spread over from 138 promotion to 161 promotion. Furthermore, during her reality rumors have spread far and wide suggesting that she thought of herself as in a taboo sentiment. Pleasant love and a fighter from Antonopolis succumbed to one another. So the story goes, and the pair chose as a result that they needed to wed. However, it expressed that there was one enormous issue with this arrangement. I said, Dora's father wouldn't give the Sweethearts his approval. All things being equal, the youthful couple were clearly resolute. As per the story, they decided rather to abscond, and they began their excursion to the special stepped area by crossing the Nile. Sadly, however, Isa, Dora is professed to have suffocated in the stream before she could get hitched. From that point onward, her dad supposedly embalmed her body and fabricated a dazzling burial chamber around her, a lot of which actually remains at Fish El Jebel today, and Forlorn Planet, as even guaranteed that guests to Ice Revere's indicated last resting spot can in any case see components of her hair, nails, and teeth. Hundreds of years after the burial chamber and Church of Isadora was developed be that as it may, specialists ran to Tunit El Jebel again. From 2005 forward, earth movers, land assessors, engineers, and geophysicists teamed up to plot a guide of the necropolis. This graph incorporates regions that had stayed immaculate by digs as well as an arrangement for future structural increases to the area. Likewise, hopeful restorers can leave their own imprint on the region through a field school set up in 2012 through Egypt's Minya College and the German College of Hildesheim. Furthermore, unearthings keep on occurring at Fish El Jebel under the direction of the Service of Artifacts and Egyptian Government Bunch framed to safeguard the country's legacy. Normally then, when one more group of Egyptian archaeologists investigated Tunnel Shuffle's leftovers in 2019, the service administered their work to and together at the gathering who additionally worked pair with numerous colleges exploration community for archaeological examinations found something mind-boggling. In any case, the specialists dug 30 feet into the ground at the previous necropolis, after which they revealed four separate interment loads. What's more, when the archaeologists entered the burial chambers, they tracked down a shocking assortment of embalmed remains. That turned out as a matter of fact that 50 people among them 12 youngsters had been buried at the area. What's more, the archaeologists found that the mummies had been covered in different strategies. A few rested in stone caskets, for instance, while others reused inside wooden coffins. Paradoxically, various further people had just been enclosed by material and left inside the burial place. Despite how the bodies had been entombed, however, their cautious alterations and interments proposed that they had once had a place with big cheeses. Specifically, it has been recommended that some of the embalmed individuals had stood firm on high positioning footings during Egypt's Ptolemaic period all through this time, which extended from 305 BC to 30 BC. A Macedonian Greek family ruled over Egypt until Rome vanquished the country. By the by, Mostafa Waziri, the Secretary General of Egypt Preeminent Chamber of Ancient Pieces, has said that individuals covered inside the tomb of El Jebel burial place couldn't be distinguished. We have not found names written in hieroglyphics. The day-to-day -day mirror cited him as saying in February 2019. At present then it's not yet specific whether any of the remaining parts once had a place with Ptolemaic authorities. However, the revelation of Tutankhamun's burial chamber likewise prompted a somewhat evil hypothesis. Papers at that point promoted what became known as the Scourge of the Pharaohs, which purportedly accursed the individuals who interfered with the area to unfavorable passings. Furthermore, one individual who revealed the entombment site did really meet his destiny presently, George Herbert, the fifth Duke of Carnarvon, 
filled in as the lender of the endeavor to find Tutankhamun's resting place. Also, in the wake of hearing the uplifting news that Carter had found an unlocked burial chamber in the Valley of the Lords, Herbert Dooley advanced toward the site only days after the fact. It showed up, however, that the URL couldn't hang tight for the authority disclosing, which was booked to happen on November 29, 1922. All things considered, Herbert alongside his aide and his girl, woman Evelyn slipped into the burial chamber on various events before that date. Then, at that point, five months after those visits on April 5, 1923, the unearthings agent kicked the bucket, and many attributed his less-than-ideal passing to the burial chamber's revile of the pharaohs. All things considered, there was a possibly more trite clarification for Herbert's passing. Harmful parasites had flourished inside Tutankhamun's burial place, and it was assumed that this had really killed the URL. After much hypothesis in any case, a clinical inspector at last uncovered reality. As a general rule, Herbert had really died because of pneumonia that had advanced into a skin and tissue disease. What's more, Herbert had so routinely experienced lung contaminations that he might have surrendered to something as generally harmless as bronchitis. At last, a concentrate likewise took a gander at the remainder of the 1922 uncovering group to see whether any of those people had met less than ideal passings in the wake of entering the burial chamber. What's more, at the hour of the overview, it was uncovered that eight of the 58 individuals required right then, and there had passed on in something like 12 years of the burial place's opening. Curiously, however, woman Evelyn made due until 1980, no matter what those illegal visits to the burial place with her dad. Yet even with that hypothesis, apparently put to sleep a lot of speculations about Tutankhamun's burial place remained. Some accepted, for instance, that the space had secret chambers and compartments that were at this point to be uncovered. Others, in the meantime, zeroed in on the earthy colored bits that had spread across the burial place's walls, the markings maybe of dangerous organisms. In 2018, however, scientists from the Polytechnic College of Turin in Italy scattered the tales about the mystery chambers. Their examination found no proof that such spaces existed. They said, and the year after that the burial place's conservators comparatively shared their discoveries about the organisms developing on the walls. Thus, it was uncovered that the captivating developments that had spread all through the entombment place were really microorganisms, and albeit the life forms had become brown and looked threatening to some, the specialists made sense of thus, that there was no risk of the man truly becoming further. As a matter of fact, the pigmented microorganisms hadn't moved or spread to new areas inside the burial chambers since Carter had first opened its entryway. And the conservators proceeded they'd need to wait for a long time to come. Eliminating the splotches would harm the precious work of art inside Tutankhamun's last resting place you see. Normally, the protection group really want to obliterate the burial chamber, not least since they finished a long-term rebuilding position there in 2019. Also, the gathering's cautious work re-established Tutankhamun's entombment space to something much the same as how it would have looked when his nation originally let him go. In the first place, the group braced the fine art inside the burial chamber, incorporating the pieces shrouded in earthy colored dabs. Thanks for watching. If you want to stay updated with our latest videos, subscribing is the way to go. Just click that red button below and become a part of our channel family.